Hey you guys, um, this is, uh, I guess we'll make this part three of this little series of how to put this bad boy back together. Um, we have just this um, machined aluminum part and uh, just the just the bail system, that's really it. Um, there's really not much to the bail system, I'm not going to put it back together or take it apart, excuse me, because uh it's just kind of a pain in the butt to get these two um, to get these two uh, springs back in there. Um, it's it's not a big deal, um, and it's a very very light light grease coating that you put on these parts. And what you get from the factory, unless you pressure wash this thing, it's not going to come out of there. So it's fine, in my opinion. Uh, you might grease this back side of the bale on the on the opposite side, the left side of the of the reel. So let's get to this. Um, we'll start with putting the um, the drive shaft back in place. So you're going to want to get your bearing and just take your bearing and just put it right there at the base of it. So you do it gently. You don't need to force it. It just falls right in there anyway. There it is. And then you're going to take your drive shaft and there is this small top part and then there's this uh, other part that has a hole for a screw. So you can't get this wrong, the hole for the screw goes on the bottom of the reel. So what you'll do is you'll just take this part, the thin part, and um, just kind of Put it inside of right here. There's a little keyway for it that fits right in there. So just kind of fit that in there first. Kind of push up on it and push right down in there. And that's it. You're there. So what you're going to do after that is you're going to take the small. Um, screw that you have. It's a fine thread screw. It's not the one that has the blue Loctite on it. It's the other one. So you're going to take that and just screw that back in there. And you don't have to wrench down on it and strip the threads out. Just kind of gently tighten it up. Um, and then you'll take your other screw that has the blue Loctite on it and put that one right above it. So I'll take that back out. There's a hole right there. We'll just take this screw that has the blue Loctite on it and just put that right back in there. And then just cinch it down. You don't have to bear down on it. None of this stuff is, it comes apart fairly easily anyway from the factory. And it's not jarring that makes the stuff come apart. Um, and so don't, don't go wrenching on it and ruining your reel. So now you have this part back together. Now we're going to assemble the level one. Um, let's see. That white bushing. The white bushing that has the the tall part to it. You have, you have um, uh, it goes on the left side of the reel. It only fits in there one way. I don't know if it, the camera is going to focus on it, but it only fits in there one way. Um, so you kind of just take that and just kind of push that in there. It's going to fall out if you're not watching it, so kind of just hold your finger over it. Um, you take your sleeve, um, your plastic sleeve here, take your level wine bearing and put that right on the only side that it can fit in. It doesn't matter which way the bearing goes in there, just as long as it's in there. Take your, take your uh, worm gear and you want to take the side that has the hole in it. There is a side that has um, a that has a cut in it for the E clip, and then you have a side that has a hole in it for the uh, I forget what they call those things, but it's where the white gear is held into place, so it drives the white gear, or the white gear can drive this. So you take that part that has the white hole in it and it goes in toward the bearing and sticks out the other side. You can just push on it and hold it there. Take this thing and the part that um, 
that has the side for the E-clip. You put that one in first, only put it in about halfway. Take your level winder and you're gonna just thread that right over the top. It's not threading, but you're gonna put it on right over the top and then just push it the rest of the way in to, towards that white bushing. And now you're almost there. So we got that part on. Next part we'll do is we'll take this, whoops, it wants to fall out. Take this white gear here and just set it right over the top. There is a, it's like a T keyway on the top of it. The bottom has nothing, the bottom's flat. The, uh, the part that has the T keyway, the T keyway is the part that is gonna face up. So just put that right over the top there and you're gonna push on that, um, on that worm gear ever so slightly to make it stick out to put this little uh, bar back in, be in where that hole of the worm gear goes. So we'll take that and just kinda figure out a way to get it in there. go and now uh, just take it and push down on it so it fits inside the keyway and then you're almost there let's see if we've got this thing going in there right make sure you get this level wind the plastic part to seat inside of the uh, of the frame of the of the reel okay now you're gonna take the steel washer and just push it right over the top. Just kind of fits loosely over that. And then you're gonna take your E-clip, set it right, position it right on top of it. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that or not. And then just take the back side of your knife, put your finger over the top of it so it doesn't go flying out if, in case you position it wrong, and just push down on it. There you go. Now your level one's put back together. Now what you want to do is you want to take the Paul P A W L. I hope I'm saying that right. And the part that has the tooth on it, just put that in there gently inside the hole of the, of the level winder, and it's gonna seat down. You'll feel it in there. Yeah, you just kind of push it with your finger and kind of twist it, and it's already seated in there. It's gonna sit just below the top of, just below level of the threads. Take your copper washer that has a little hole in it and fit it right where that, where that gap is. And then you take the cap and you just gently thread it right over the top. Don't bear down on it, just kind of tighten it. Finger tight, you don't have to even get it really that tight. You don't want it, they're plastic threads so they're gonna break if you bear down on it. So there's that. So now your level winder should work for the most part. Now you take that bar that wanted to fall out, the bar that has the, um, I'm gonna say beveled, it's probably the wrong word, but it has the cut on it. Uh, and the part that has the cut on, the, on it is gonna go towards the left side of the reel. You're gonna push it into the hole on the right, thread it through the holes, um, of the, it's not threading, but you're gonna push it through the holes of the level winder on the top, and then uh, where those cuts were on the left side of that bar, just fit it right into the hole on the left side of the of the frame of the reel. And now just kind of fit it in there, and then take your, take your cover, put your cover right back over it, because your cover is what holds that bar in place. And then you take your two, small screws and you just kind of fit it, fit them in there. We've all put screws into holes and threaded them in so this isn't rocket science.
out of time, so it looks like I'm going to make a part four to this. So. And don't bear down on the screws on there either. There's nothing on here that needs to be bared down on. Let's see, there's your level one. Level one's working. Just make sure you check the function of it. There we go.